This video is a very basic introduction to SPSS. I'll introduce the interface, add some data in, and create a very simple graph. By the end of this video, you should have a sense of how the program works and how it might be useful to you in your own work. In future videos, we'll look at things in much more detail and we'll do the major statistical procedures such as a chi-square test, ANOVA, t-test, correlation coefficient, and so on. When you first fire up SPSS, you should get a screen that looks like this. If you see a dialog box that's offering you previous files, tutorials, that sort of thing, just close out of it. It's also possible you'll see this screen, in which case hit the data view tab down here on the left. I must admit, when I first saw this, I thought to myself, well, it looks like a spreadsheet, but what am I supposed to do with it? It certainly isn't obvious how you enter data or how you'd run a procedure on that data. So let me show you very simply how that might be done. Okay, let's suppose we've sampled 12 people and we want, in the first instance, to record their gender. In that situation, each row here would represent one person, and you could record their gender in the first column here, like so. You'll see there that it's added a name with the variable automatically at the top. Now you wouldn't normally code this stuff by hand, but there's absolutely no reason why you can't. I mean, usually it would be imported from another file or from a database, but it's entirely possible to do it this way if you've got a small sample. So. Right, so we've now got 12 people there and we've coded their gender. As you can see, the program has given the variable a generic name. Now we can change that quite easily to something meaningful. If you click on variable view here, you'll see our first variable has got a line to itself. Now if we change its name there to gender and then click back on data view, you'll see it's changed gender up here as well. Okay, now let's suppose we also want to record whether or not they smoke or don't smoke. Now we simply do the same again here in the second column, which will represent the second variable, their smoking status. So, non-smoker, smoker. And by the magic of fast forwarding, I've managed to complete those much more quickly than you'll be able to do. And so all that's left now is to go on to the variable view again so we can change this name. So you click the variable view tab, go to the second of our variables, which is the smoking status variable, and change it to smoker. And now back to data view, and you'll see again it's changed up the top here. Okay, now that we've got some data, what are we going to do with it? Well, one obvious thing would be to compare the number of male smokers against the number of female smokers. SPSS makes this easy. Click on the Analyze menu, and then Descriptive Statistics, Cross Tabs. You can see our two variables here in this column, Gender and Smoker. Move Gender across to the Row box, and smoker across to the column box and then press OK. What you're seeing here is SPSS's output window. This is where you get the results of the procedures and tests you run. So you can see on your left you've got a cross tab table that's showing two female smokers and four male smokers. Now that's not particularly interesting when you've only got 12 people in your sample but if there were 200 for example then you can see it would be useful. As I mentioned, the output window is where SPSS displays all of the results of the procedures that you run, including charts and graphs, which I'll show you now. First off, switch back to the data view, and then select Graphs, Chart Builder. Ignore the dialog box, and then ensure that bar is selected here on the left. Now we're interested in the clustered bar chart, which is this one, so double click on it. You can see it appears up here in the chart preview window. Now, I'm not going to explain what's going on here since that'll be the subject of a further tutorial, but we will create a graph. So I want you to drag gender to the cluster on X box 
and I want you to drag Smoker to the X axis. And you'll notice here on the left you've got Account. Now press OK and you'll find it pops up in the output window. And there it is, and you can see the gender is clustered around the two smoker variable values, non-smoker and smoker. So you've got four male smokers and two female smokers. Okay, well we've barely scratched the surface of SPSS's capabilities, but I hope this has given you some idea of how the program works and the sorts of things you can do with it. Right, there's one last thing to do before we wrap up and that's to save our data because we're going to need it for a later tutorial. So you need to get back to the data view screen like that and then just go to file, save. It doesn't really matter where you save it, um, just as long as you can find it again. So call it something like sample data and press save. Okay, that's it for this video. Please share and like it if you found it useful and check out easyspss.com for further SPSS tutorials.